Hey guys, I'm your host, Jaden Freeman, and welcome to Slimestone Productions, the very DIY filmmaking show. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> Today we are talking the behind the scenes of my latest short film, Dilation. Dilation is a sci-fi short film created with science in mind. I wanted the science to be realistic and fit into like the natural world and theories of time travel that could actually exist. And so I went and I did tons of extensive research to find different formulas and creations and different actual scientifically plausible ways to theoretically time travel. And then I put those ideas into my movie and well, there you go, that's dilation for you in a nutshell. After I had the research done, it was time to write the script. The script, I did three drafts of the script. The first draft was just kind of a rough, and then the second draft actually finalized a lot of the details. And then the third draft went back and added some more scientific details, just to kind of flesh out the entire thing and even out the science, because the first five minutes is extensively science. It's uh, almost found footage type of video recordings, like video logs of these two scientists as they invent time travel. And then the back half of the film was purely action and story. And there was no science, and so I went back into the third draft of the script and rewrote some of the elements and gave more science to the ending half. And I also added the entire robbery scene that took place in the trailer, because I felt like those characters are... I guess it was really the one who I just knocked on the door. I felt like there needed to be a little something more in there rather than just that short scene. So I added a little two minute action scene, which I added to the thrill, I guess. Lights, camera, action. Then let's get on to filming. The filming was divided into four days. It was originally gonna be three, but unfortunately we had some predicaments that came up and stuff we had to work around. And so it ended up taking a lot longer than originally hoped. There were just so many issues because the way I film is very DIY. Very, very DIY. It's the simplest, most basic thing you can have. One lighting usually, microphone attached directly to the camera, one camera, sometimes not even a cameraman depending on the shot. So, a lot of in-editing camera tricks to make everything fit together more naturally. Which turned out pretty cool in the end, I have to say. So day one of filming focused simply on Savannah and Lucas because they were the only two who, was av who were available at the time. It was originally going to be Savannah for the first half of the day, Lucas for the second half of the day. But they both showed up at the same time, so I was like, you know what, let's just incorporate a couple of your scenes together, make it look a little nicer. And then Lucas actually took on as my director of photography and cameraman for the rest of the shoot because he was available and I didn't, hadn't had any more lines written in for the script for him, so we made do with what we had. But it worked out really well because we got some good camera angles, especially for the fight scene against Simon and Miss Price in the forest after popping out of that portal. That was just absolutely fantastic. But day one was pretty smooth except for the laboratory scenes because those were the scenes with lighting issues. Stupid, stupid, atrocious lighting issues. <gasps> Because this was the first time that I was filming, especially in a low-light situation, and this was a fairly recent camera. I had done a few short films with it, but never anything in the dark. So it was really tough to get figure out the lighting. Some things were too bright, and then some things were too dark. And unfortunately, the way it ended up being with the lighting setup that I had it ended up being a really noisy video footage. But best I could do in the situation without going out and really buying a bunch of stuff. Because I have three professional studio lights, which we s tried setting up around at first, but that just didn't end up working. This is our lighting setup. This is right here. It's making me mad. We have a lamp. Put over on its side. Because our beautiful, high quality light over here is ridiculously bright. It would work for my old camera, but this camera is just too good. This is making me mad. We have too many lighting issues. The entire issue with this entire production has been lighting, and this is our solution. Laying a lamp on the ground. Let's hope it doesn't catch fire to the carpet. After lighting issues were all sorted out, filming went absolutely perfectly smooth. It was 
brilliant. For this, oh well, Woo! let's go into the time. This is thing. this is how professionals work. Swag. <laughs> I think Savannah has an issue right now. It's fine. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Give me a high five. Give me. We're friends now. Oh yeah, I just remembered something. What? And she's gone. <laughs> well, might be a while. Whoa! Forgot that that was sloped! <laughs> I did, unfortunately, miss a couple lines in Savannah's scene where the two Miss Prices are talking to each other, the future and the past versions are having a conversation. I missed all of their lines. I'm an idiot. And then just the way that we filmed the two different videos and put them together and the timing wasn't right, so it ended up working, I guess, but I had to cut out all their lines and just have a very short interaction between them, which... It was a little bit of science, but it was kind of unnecessary in the long run. It didn't really change the outcome of the film at all, so... That was good, at least. But other than that, filming was pretty smooth. Now let's get on to day two. Illuminati confirmed. Boop, 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 boop. Day two was with Jeremiah, who played Albert, and that, that filming was pretty good. One thing that I've learned from the shoot is having positive, happy actors is the best thing in the world. So Savannah and Lucas were great. They went along with everything. I made them do some pretty ridiculous things, like Savannah had to fall over on top of me. She had to throw herself down on the ground. I had to pour blood all over. That was a thing. But they're really good sports about it. But don't, don't worry, I didn't forget, forget to feed them lunch. Lunch is a very crucial part of filming. You want happy actors if you want to have them do these things. And I would never do these things with people that I wasn't good friends with. I wouldn't just like hire someone and be like, Here, get covered in blood and throw yourself in the ground. Day two was pretty smooth in terms of getting what we needed to get done, done. First half, great. Then lunch happened. And then actors were just done. Like, it was just too much. As you saw, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that about sums it up. So, I had to eventually coax up their spirits a little bit, feed them a little bit more, give them tons of water because I had completely exhausted them at that point. But, we continued filming and we got to finish all the laboratory scenes. And we even got the whiteboard seed done, which was very crucial, because my little sisters were home at the time, and they are very, very, very loud. You could actually hear them in the final cut of the film, but I really I couldn't redo that anymore. We had done it like at least 50 times, with messing up our lines and stuff, because it's all one take. Because I didn't want to have camera angles in there, because it wouldn't feel as natural, because it was a presentation to the audience. So that one actually went surprisingly well after the first 50 takes or so. Day three of filming. Day three went pretty smoothly and it was actually a really short day. There wasn't a lot of filming done on that day because I had to just do this trailer scene was all that we had planned for that day. But then I also went, as it got later in the evening, filmed the two sunset sequences which looked really nice as a transition. Both were sunsets, by the way. One was supposed to be a sunrise in the movie, like... But it was actually just me recording the sunset because I didn't feel like getting up that early. <laughs> but anyway, um, other than that, I filmed the one little scene in the forest where I'm looking over the papers and trying to figure out my planning before breaking into the trailer. And then the whole trailer scene, the short dialogue, and then the actual robbery sequence were the only other things that we did for that day. So overall, that was a really smooth day. I have know I said that a lot for most of the days. But I was just really impressed with how well this filming session actually went. Usually my filming is a nightmare. Take Corruption and Corruption 2, for example. Oh, those were... Those were... Oh, that was just too much, too much, in too little budget, essentially. Was my issue with those. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the behind-the-scenes of Corruption. We're here talking about the behind-the-scenes of Dilation. So, day three, not really much to talk about. It was pretty fun and overall a great day. Day four. <laughs> I went in there and got stuck. There's a hole right here. Day four was also a pretty short day. Once again, pretty smooth filming. It was just a very time-consuming film. 
shoot, it was the scenes with Mr. Trinidad, who is my dad, for those of you who didn't know. I just saw you go into the portal after something. <laughs> after Jeff knocked you out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Those scenes, that fight choreography was just, it took so much work. We're in such a confined space. We're filming in a hallway. It may not have looked like it, but it was actually just a little narrow hallway with some cabinets on one side. And we had to angle the camera as many different ways as we could in that confined space. And then just getting the fight right, throwing the punches, knowing when to get kneed and hit, and it, it was a lot of work. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. Ow. I'd say more difficult than the scene out in the forest. Even though both of them were all planned out and then I went through the moves a little bit beforehand, before we actually filmed. But still, I don't know why that one just, it just took forever, honestly. But it was a really fun shoot. Laughed more than I probably laughed in a while. But, four was a great day. Day four. Way to go, day four. I just did this. Day four. I can math. <laughs> so that wraps up filming. But now, to one of the most time-consuming parts of a shoot, the editing. Editing, editing, editing.